If you're not that familiar with orzo, you've gotta try it. It's so good. It's basically like pasta in the shape of rice. So anything you would do with pasta, you can do with orzo. It makes a great main dish if you add meat and vegetables and sauce, or this recipe is a totally delicious side dish. It's orzo with watermelon, basil, and feta. It's these really unique blend of flavors. It's like a sweet, tangy fruit mixed with the salty feta. If you're making chicken or steak or if you're barbecuing ribs, it's, it's light and refreshing, so it goes really well with the nice heavy meat. It's, it's a great side dish. You've got to try it. First thing you do is just simply make the orzo. So dump it into some boiling water, add a little dash of salt, and just let it go. While your orzo is cooking, you're gonna prepare all the fresh ingredients. So I start with the watermelon. I prefer to get two small watermelons, those cute little small round seedless ones. A, they're seedless, and B, it's just, I find they're a little more manageable than like a big jumbo five pound watermelon. Easier to cut. Next, I slice up my basil. I cut it into thin little strips. And then I crumble my feta. You can totally use crumbled feta, no problem. Once your orzo is done, you're just gonna pour it into a strainer, and then you're gonna run it under some water to cool it off. This is a cool side dish, so you wanna cool it off kinda quickly and stop the cooking process. Do not overcook your orzo. Overcooked orzo is mushy and doughy and not delicious at all. So once your orzo is ready, you can just start assembling. Dump it in a bowl and add all your fresh ingredients that you prepared. So toss the watermelon in there, crumble your feta all throughout, Sprinkle the basil over the top, then you're gonna pour your olive oil, and give it a nice stir, get those flavors blending together. Add some salt and pepper to taste, and then right at the end I just add a little bit of lemon zest on top. It just gives it an extra zing of flavor, and it's a beautiful lemon color, beautiful yellow color. And that's really it, you're good to go. This is such a delicious side dish, and I promise you, anyone who says watermelon and basil and feta is kind of a weird combo, they're gonna be a believer after they eat this. It's really good.